Hi, this is Jessica Mays, Infusionsoft Certified Consultant, and today I'm going to show you how to use lead scoring in Infusionsoft. Now, this is a follow-up. I also created a um, tutorial about how to set up lead scoring in your application. So hopefully you've watched that first, and I'm actually still on the screen from recording that tutorial. And now I'm going to show you how you can use that lead scoring that you've set up in your in your um, in your campaigns. Okay, so. Here we go. I'm going to go into Campaign Builder, which is under Marketing. I'm just going to start a new campaign so I can show you a great way to use lead scoring. Okay, so we're going to kick off this, um, this demo, pulling out a goal icon and immediately switching it to reaches a score. Okay. So we're going to configure that right away. And basically, when somebody in my database gets up to at least four flames, what I want to have happen is I want to open up an opportunity record. Now, there's lots of things that you can do based on whatever your goals are in your strategy. But basically, what I'm configuring here is that, and I'll show you how I would do this. I'm going to call this a new lead for consulting. And I'm going to assign it to myself. And I'm going to test myself as well. I'm not going to configure that. You get the picture. So here's what I have decided that I want to do. So let's connect these. Okay. So basically what I'm illustrating here is that um, if you've watched the video that where I show you how to set up the rules for your lead scoring, what I demoed in my app is that I add... Um, lead scoring points every time somebody is doing something that um, really kind of shows that they're interested in the information that I share or my knowledge about Infusionsoft and so forth. So for example, um, I, I add a point to my lead scoring if somebody uh, downloads one of my books. I add another one if they like the book. I add another one if they opt in to receive the um, blogs by email, so on and so forth. So when people are indicating that they um, are enjoying consuming my information, to me, that is probably somebody that uh, is going to stay on board and continue to consume my information possibly um, want to work together down the road, whatever that might be. So once I get to four flames, um, I am opening up, in this example, an opportunity record. So, so people don't come onto my radar, so to speak, in terms of working the sales pipeline until they've um, engaged in enough stuff, um, you know, basically responded to enough things that I put out there that... Um, they've met enough criteria that they become what I refer to as a hot lead. So I'm opening up the opportunity record at that time, notifying myself that I now have a lead. I should go in, you know, take a look at the contact record, see what's going on, and then move forward with whatever nurture campaign that I have for that particular thing that the person is indicating potential interest in. So that's the cool thing that you can do with this. So you can automatically have those flames going on the contact record, and then furthermore, once they reach a certain amount of points, flames, a lead score of a certain amount, we can have things automatically happen right in Campaign Builder. So this is how we can use lead scoring in our Infusionsoft application.